Hi, my name is Patrick Meyer, Thermoplastic Line Tubing Product Line Manager for Lightning Production Services. Uh, today I'll get a little more in depth on the differences between thermoplastic liners and IPC tubing. Uh, knowing when to apply either product is determined by the application, temperature, wear, corrosion, deviation, and or failure history. We can group these into three different focus areas, corrosion, wear, or friction, and three applications of use, rod pump wells, PCP wells, and saltwater disposal wells. Uh, in rod pump wells, both liners and IPC products are, address all three to some extent. Uh, IPC products are designed to handle corrosion and wear to a degree. Uh, IPCs are sprayed on and baked on. They're generally very thin, 8 to 12 mils thick, and typically a blend of different epoxies. Uh, they tend to be used more often in corrosive wells or where ID is of importance. You, and you generally see IPC tubing in wells with most forms of artificial lift. Some of the drawbacks of IPC uh, products are potentials for holidays or vo voids in the internal coating itself. Uh, it can crack or chip due to the bending of the tubing and deviated well bores. Uh, you generally see problems with this over time or in two to three degree dog legs uh, or higher. Uh, historically, when you think about thermoplastic line tubing, you think about saltwater disposals or injection wells. Uh, but over time, it has become a much more accepted solution in conventional rod pump wells. Uh, most manufacturers who produce thermoplastic liners for downhole use, uh, they private label their products. However, they are generally some blend of HDPEs, Crosslink, polyolefin ketone or POK, polyphenylene sulfide or PPS, or peak polymers. Uh, as a rule of thumb demonstrated in the chart, the higher the temperature, hardness, and permeability, uh, the higher the cost of the product. Uh, one of the main drawbacks of using line tubing in downhole environments is the thickness of the liner, uh, resulting in an ID restriction. Uh, this is particularly important to note in rod pump wells where in it, with an insert pump. Uh, typically, this is addressed by downsizing the pump, which is obviously not a uh, preferred thing to do in many instances, but sometimes it's the only way to reach the targeted total fluid. Uh, or you can cross over a larger size tubing, such as three and a half inch in your deviated areas, and back where it is not needed, as your casing size permits. Uh, the Permian, you generally see five and a half inch casing, which limits your options, but three and a half inch tubing will fit inside a five and a half inch casing with the use of slim hole couplings or turn down collars. Thermoplastic liners also, due to their permeabilities, expand and contract, also known as the coefficient of thermal expansion, uh, when exposed to UV rays, temperatures, and downhole fluid, uh, fluid conditions, uh, which is mitigated by maximizing the mechanical bond between the tubing and the liner. Thermoplastic liners are ideal for reducing the coefficient of friction in rod pump wells while reducing the rate of wear extending the life of the tubing in the deviated sections of the tubing string. Uh, they're generally ranged from 120 to 180 thousandths wall thickness depending on the tubing size. Uh, HDPE compound resins are an amorphous blend usually used in saltwater disposals uh, rod pump wells with lower temperatures, uh, shallow or lower producing type wells. Uh, polyketone, PPS, and peak polymers uh, are bl blends or crystalline resins typically used in deeper, more deviated wells with higher temperatures. Uh, the collars or tubing slash casing couplings are generally coated with an epoxy IPC type coating to protect against corrosion, but unlike IPC tubing uh, that is prone to cracking or chipping, uh, couplings are much more rigid, therefore you don't usually see cracks or chips. Uh, to conclude, both products are widely used depending on the application uh, and downhole characteristics of the of the well. I uh, hope you found this information educational. If you want to learn more about uh, LPS's thermoplastic line tubing, please give me a call.